So I'm clearly doing something wrong here, and this is me asking for help. But I'm going to explain it and go through it in my usual style. Running gun builds. Yeah, here we go. This fun old topic. Considering how the game is designed and the mechanic behind it, it's designed to be a cover-to-cover -cover looter shooter. You're supposed to use cover. Running gun builds are not actually an intended design, it's just something that the player base has come up with. I've been experimenting with running gun builds for god knows how long, I very rarely go over them, just because I can't figure out either I am just that bad at playing the game, or running gun builds are just that bad. The third option is I'm so used to playing high DPS builds that I'm just in a weird way, incompatible with playing run and gun builds. But I don't knock run and gun builds because I haven't tried them. I have tried them. I've tried the YouTuber specials. I've tried things that have been recommended to me. One of the ones that has recently been recommended to me is 4P Strikers, Liquid Engineer, and a Bellstone Chest with Intimidate, which is what I'm actually running in this footage here. 4P Strikers, but two piece Bellstone, Liquid Engineer, for perfect bloodsucker and then a chest. This would give me pretty decent amp damage from 4P strikers. The two bell stones are going to give me 1% armor regen, which isn't the greatest, but I get 20% armor on kill from running gunner, as well as the second perk of bellstone, another 10% armor on kill. They've also recommended that I use chameleon because the damage loss from using the two blue cores is made up for with the chameleon buff. As well as the fact that I'm using 4P Strikers, I can't quite hit the uh, max crit chance cap where Chameleon does actually allow us to do this. In a nutshell, this build is very well thought out. There's like technically nothing wrong with it. As like a math point of view, it should work. However, it is an internally mechanically driven build. And what I mean by this is, in order to get your damage up as well as your survivability, you start from scratch. So at this point, you have no Intimidate, no Striker stacks, no Bloodsucker, no buffs on Chameleon. This makes it incredibly, incredibly difficult to initiate a fight, especially having the enemies within the close range that you will need to optimize your output using things like Intimidate, as well as just Chameleon, because Chameleon at range is horrible. Oh, well then use a different AR, well then I might as well just go for an entirely different build. Put more blue cores on, but then I struggle even killing anything to actually initiate my buffs in the first place. The majority of the damage is going to come from the interaction between Strikers, or Hunter's Fury, or XYZ, and Intimidate. Because if you are playing a run and gun build, Intimidate is your best bet. It is going to be the highest multiplier you can get. Pair it with the survivability that you need, you'd either need Adrenaline Rush, Memento or Bloodsucker. In this regard, because of Intimidate and how Intimidate is actively going to work, Adrenaline Rush is kind of not really going to help you, so then it's a toss up between Bloodsucker and Memento. Memento has the problem of you have to run around and actually pick up the stacks, which can become an issue depending on what range you actually end up finding yourself at when you kill something. Which then means the only option left really would be Bloodsucker. Bloodsucker with Intimidate pairs perfectly well. It pairs beautifully with something like Strikers or even Hunter's Fury because they also have a separate multiplier or an amp in the case of Hunter's Fury. And from here we're able to just pile on the damage. Using something like Chameleon to compensate for our lack of red cores is perfectly fine and viable and it does end up being that as long as you are able to maintain that buff it does actually become the highest dps option there's just another big problem maintaining any of it due to the fact of where i'm lacking in damage i'm trying to play it in a run and gun style by limiting the amount of cover i take moving from target to target i literally just don't have the survivability like at all i get completely rinsed even with the Bloodsucker bonus armor, and I'm unable to answer this problem by just outright killing the enemy simply just because I don't have the damage. Either I haven't built up stacks yet, or even at max stack, just the damage just isn't there. Now with this build, with 
maximum intimidate, maximum strikers, and both the chameleon buffs that offer us damage. I was able to hit like 900k, though the instances where this did happen were so few and far between. The rest of the time I hit between 6 to 700k, which isn't bad, it's nothing to scoff at, but playing this close range while being slapped in the face of a shotgun or even ARs, it is just a death sentence. In a nutshell, from my experience, from a mathematical sp perspective, run and gun builds are good, they're great, they should work. However, from a mechanical perspective of what and how this game interacts with you as the character, run and gun builds are pretty frigging bloody terrible. In fact, for recording this, I originally started out doing my normal thing on Heroic with three directives, thinking it would be fine, this build has been promised for me to me, it will work, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. I couldn't do it. I ended up essentially near enough rage quitting. I've turned the directives off, I went back straight in on just normal heroic with no directives, and I tried playing, and it was an absolute struggle. For most ads, like your reds and purples, it was fine, it was easy. The moment an elite came along, or a chunga, or heaven forbid, a frigging warhound, it was essentially GG. It was game over, have fun, I died. It was bad for the health. Now an argument against this would be we'll adapt to the situation, don't play a run and gun build when doing black task, but then that's not the point of what viability is. The overall effect of how viable a build is is you could take it into the majority of situations and have it perform pretty much identically in all scenarios. If I'm just running around beating up outcasts all day, that's just the I wouldn't even argue it's a viable build. It's a viable build against outcasts, but the game doesn't just have outcasts in the game. So if this build struggled against Black Tusk, what would happen if I put it against Cleaners? What would happen if I put it against Rikers? Heaven forbid with a Cleaner, if I get one of those absolute maniac axe-wielding pricks with a shield come dashing at me the first thing out of a friggin' door, and I've got zero stacks. I am going to die. If I go against Rikers, one of those lovely elite bastards with the rugby helmet that likes to set up a random turret directly in front of you and then beam you, I am going to die. If one of those Riker snipers decides to come out with a shield, I am going to die. There are too many options for me to die utilizing this build. And when I say this build, I don't mean the specific one I am running. I did quite enjoy it. It was fun. It was different. I just didn't find it to be worthwhile and this is the exact same issue I've had with so many run and gun builds. They focus too much on their ability to take the damage when there are so many mechanics in the game that will just screw you regardless of how much armor you have. And on the flip side to this, the quickest and easiest way to respond to a lot of these problems is just do more damage. You don't have an option to do more damage. You're not at your optimal maximum output. It was genuinely a struggle, especially this part in the footage right now. These sniper warhounds, there's literally nothing I can do. There is nothing here that is going to help me in this situation other than do more damage, but I don't have more damage. Now, I do wish to reiterate that I'm clearly doing something wrong or Maybe I'm just on the money and running gun builds are actually this frigging bad. Or the third option being, like I said, I'm just so used to running like the high profile DPS builds that when running a build like this, I am just incompatible with it. But it was just, I don't understand how this is meant to work. I am spending the entire time sweating my nut off trying to figure out how this is actively meant to work. And there's so many times I get people be like, oh yeah, just run and gun build, it's easy. No, it's it's not, or at least in my experience, it just isn't, it's worse, it's horrible. To actually get this build to function optimally, I had to put it down to challenging. Like That's how bad it was. Like at this point, from the testing and the experimenting that I have done, to get run and gun builds to actually be a viable option for the content within the game as we currently have it, you need to play on challenging or below. Now I did actually end up finishing Tidal Basin on Heroic with this build. It took me one hour and 23 minutes. 
I then put on my lovely Sacrificial Strikers build, which is four piece strikers, the gift and the sacrifice for perfect vigilance and perfect glass cannon. It took me 31 minutes and I didn't actually die or use my revive hive or however you want to. I didn't go down at any particular point. Along with the fact that I actually spent a lot more time being able to run and gun because I was able to kill things a lot more quickly and effectively. I was literally doing running and gunning with perfect glass cannon throughout the majority of the mission. I wasn't getting stuck in cover like I am now trying to figure out a viable option to close the gap on a close range build with a friggin chunga. So despite all my ranting and raving what am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Is, is the build I'm actually using actually terrible? So I am asking for build advice. If you have an insight as to how run and gun builds are supposed to work or if I'm just doing it completely wrong or are these builds just actually terrible? I am not sure. If you've got an idea of a build that I might be able to get along with that is mostly run and gun, please do share it. I'd recommend using the GitHub link, which will be in the description below, rather than just typing your build out. Just take a minute, put your build into the GitHub, and then copy and paste the link. That will do just fine. Anyway, not impressed with running gun builds. Like, actively not impressed. I don't see them being a viable option in like 99% of situations, despite how many people like telling me that running gun builds are amazing. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I've, I I've think I've, I literally die more on run, using a run and gun build with more blue calls than I have done with perfect glass cannon. Like it's actually quite impressive how bad these builds are or how bad I am with these builds. So final thought is have fun. Good luck. Don't die. Bad for the health.